Media playback is unsupported on all device media caption The BBC's Ferris Kalani was in Raqqa with Antis troops Russia has accused the Uzald coalition of bombing the Syrian city of Raqqa off the face of the earth during the fight against so-called Islamic State. Syrian Democratic Forces SDF took Raqqa last week and on Sunday said they had taken Syria's largest oil field. Pictures suggest much of Raqqa is in ruins, and Moscow compared it to the Allied destruction of the German city of Dresden in World War II. The Uzald coalition says it tried to minimize risks to civilians. Russia has itself been accused of committing war crimes for its bombardment of Aleppo last year. UN war crimes investigators said last week that there had been a staggering loss of civilian life in Raqqa. Syrian activists say between 1,130 and 1,873 civilians were killed and that many of the civilian casualties were the result of the intense use of air strikes that helped the SDF, an alliance of Kurdish and Arab militias, advance. A Russian defense ministry spokesman said the ruins evoked the destruction of Dresden. Raqqa has inherited the fate of Dresden in 1945, wiped off the face of the earth by Anglo-American bombardments, Marge Gen Igor Konashenkov said. He said the West now appeared to be hurrying to send financial aid to Raqqa as a way of covering up evidence of its crimes. Image copyright Getty Images Image caption Allied bombing destroyed most of Dresden in 1945 The Uzald coalition said it had adhered to strict targeting processes and procedures aimed to minimize risks to civilians. The SDF declared victory in Raqqa last week after a four-month battle to retake the city from Is, which had ruled it for three years. They say they have since taken the Alamar oil fields, a significant source of revenue of the militants. The fight against the militants is now focused on the last stronghold in Syria's eastern province of Deir al-Zor. The Syrian army backed up by Russian airpower and Iranian militias is also attacking the extremist group.